good morning everyone. Well, we're just up and getting ready for um, Tilly's hospital appointment this morning. Well, this afternoon actually. We've got to go to the passport office this morning to get some passports sorted. And then we're going to go to Tilly's hospital appointment a bit later on this afternoon. We've got a check up there. She's supposed to have her check up appointment last August, but because of Covid and everything, that got cancelled. So anyway, I had a phone consultation with her consultant the other month and was just explaining that she's had a massive growth spurt and we think that the difference in her legs is quite a bit now and that she's walking kind of a bit lopsided so he said yeah we need to get her in we'll do some x-rays and we'll see what's going on I'm hoping that she might be able to maybe have one of those built-up shoes um, so anyway we're gonna have to just wait and see what's going on with that and we we'll, might get some news on the other bone at the top of her leg because obviously if you followed us for a while you'll know that when she had the frame on her leg she had another accident which she then broke um, the, the femur the top bone in her leg when she had the frame on basically when you've got a frame on your leg and if you have any accidents like that it you're more likely to break another bone in your leg because it can't the the, the leg can't move because it's just in one position basically so anyway, that's what happened there. So we're hoping that we might get some news on that today as well. So we'll keep you updated. I'm just going to clean this kitchen. Because <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. And um, we're just waiting for the camera crew to get here as well because they're with us today as well. Anyway, I will catch you in a bit. I've got to get on. So we're just um, arriving at Alder Hay. It doesn't look too busy actually. I was just saying hopefully we'll be able to get a parking space because normally you can't, it's so busy. Um, but it doesn't look too bad, does it, today? At the minute. Um, we've just been and got the passport sorted. That didn't take very long. I think it was only in there for 20 minutes, which was good. So we're just waiting to go and find out what's going on with Tilly's leg. Hopefully it'll all be good, won't it, Tilly? Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. Which I think it will be, I mean, it's definitely looking a lot better than it was, but like I say, I think it's still um, a lot shorter. But we'll know more, obviously, after she's had some x-rays and things. Side. I'm yeah. taller than Max. You are. <laughs> You've had a massive growth spurt today, that's why. Um, haven't you? Mm. But, um, yeah, so she's got to have all of these x-rays done. So we will see what's going on with it. So we're just having something to eat before our appointment, aren't we, Tilly? Mm -hmm. Tilly's gone for a... Did you go for tuna and cheese? No, just cheese. You just went for just cheese, didn't you? I went for a tuna and cheese, more we've got a ham and cheese, and we've just got some drinks as well. Because we've got another half an hour for our appointment. Mm -hmm. It's really, really different in here. Look, we've got like these little tables now, which screens up, and all of this used to be like um, the cafe area, but that's all gone now. Obviously, because of Covid, they um, nice and quiet though. It is nice and quiet, isn't it? It's not very busy at all, which is good. Anyway, we've been a bit tucked into this. Well, we're just all sat here, masked up, waiting <laughs> for Tilly for a x-ray, which I think will be any minute now. So I'll have a couple of x-rays done, then we'll be off to see the consultant. The consultant. Uh, yeah, we'll find really out nervous, what's too. going on. Yeah, she, not really. She's not nervous, she's just sat here. Playing games. <laughs> playing games on my laptop. <laughs> It's not busy, which is good. Isn't it? No, it's great. I'm on, I'm on level um, 100 and... What are you don't playing? Even know what that game is. What are you playing? Obby. What? Obby. Obby. Yeah, guys, <laughs> she's playing Obby, whatever that is. Right, we'll update you when we know anything. Oh, what a long day, guys. It is now mm. 10 past five and we're just coming out of the hospital. Um, so... Not overly brilliant news, was it really? Not terribly, no. No. Um, so Tilly went to have her x-ray done and they have to like stand on this um, foam like, a bit like a foam insole. And she said, what was the leg length discrepancy before she had the frame on? And I said, it's about three centimetres. I said, but we think it's about the same now. Anyway, she got um, the foam thing and put it under her feet. And um, and you could see then that it was still a little bit off, and that was at 
three centimetres, I think. Um, let me just get in the car. So, oh. So anyway, she did that, took the x-ray, and then we were looking at it on like the screen and you could still, you could see that it was quite a bit out. And she said, oh, she said, I think it maybe needed to be a little bit more. So it's possibly, let me just know, possibly about three and a half centimetres difference. So I said to her, I said, can you tell um, the hip side of it, if the hips are out? And she said, no, not really anyway. We went in to see the consultant he was looking at the x-rays and he just said, um, as you can see, the bottom bone, what's it called now, the tibia? Fibia or something. Fibia. Know, the fibia. Sure. The fibia. Tibia and fibia, isn't it? I get confused, guys. Tibia. Anyway, the one yeah, that's tibia. at the front, the front bone and not the side bone, um, was still like quite a big difference. It was still looking like it was about three centimetres um, smaller than the other leg. Um, and he said that the knee looked a bit off and like I said this morning if anybody's followed us for a while you'll know that when today had the frame on she had that fall and um, it cracked through her growth plate where her femur was and at the time they were like it has broke right through it and we're not sure if that will stop the femur from growing they, they weren't sure, they couldn't tell us at that point anyway. He was looking at the x-rays and he said, it doesn't look like it has um, stopped growing, but anyway, he measured it and he said, no, it definitely does look like it's damaged. When he was looking at the, the knee and the bone where the growth plate is, um, he said, no, it definitely doesn't look right. That it, it, it looks like it has actually got some damage to that and that the bone has looks like it has stopped growing in the femur, which is obviously not great news. So he did loads of different tests where he like measured um, till his feet together lying down and the difference was quite a lot there. And then he got to put her knees up and he said, look, if you look at the difference with the knees, you can see that um, it does look like this femur has stopped growing. So long and short of that is that there's a few things that they can do is um, he said maybe in another when she gets to 14 uh, when she gets to 14 the average girls stop growing when they get to 14 so he said what they could do is um, when she gets to that point <coughs> where she stops growing there's a test that they can do isn't no, there? No, he said in six months time they'll get her back Yeah. they'll do this Scan on her left hand. Yeah. Why it has to be a left? I don't know. Wrist. Yeah. Left wrist, and then you can tell whether a bone ha scan, a bone scan, something on her left hand, whether she's reached the age where she's not growing anymore. Yeah. That's what that was. It's clever, that, isn't so that's it? that's in six months' time. Yeah. And then I guess from there they can work out whether we do the operations now or we wait another year until she's finished growing. Mm. And then that all depends if Tilly actually wants the operation, yeah. which she doesn't at the moment. No. So he's basically said that she can have this shoe, which we were hoping that she would be able to get anyway because it's starting to affect her, um, the way that she walks is a bit lopsided Stunts, because it? obviously there's quite a big difference with her leg length. Um, or he said that she can, um, we can look at doing, um, it's really clever this, but basically now, instead of having like a frame on the outside of her leg, she would have like a, um, a rod going inside her leg and they would do all of it from like inside. So you, you wouldn't have any of the, the pin sites that she had last time because it would all be inside. It's done remotely. So it's done remotely. So there's that. Obviously it's not as invasive, is it? It's a lot, it's a, it's a, it's a lot better than it still takes as long it still it's, takes as long yeah it's not yeah it's still like six six months between four six, six months. months and she'd still yeah. be not be able to walk on yeah. it yeah she'd be on crutches and everything yeah the so same. so it's still the same kind of thing you know she still wouldn't be able to walk on it um because they have to obviously break the bones to get the to get it to grow so there will be that but um they have to see if she would be eligible for that is something to do with her um, thickness of the bone. 
isn't it? Mm. It depends so if her bone is chunky, chunky, enough, chunky to enough to be able to do that. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that we need to think about really and at the minute Tilly definitely doesn't want that. She wants to just have this shoe built up so that's what we're going to have done for now and we're going to just have to just think about it but she's also got like the problem with the knee area as well because that's quite deformed he said didn't he mm -hmm. deformed with the way that it it is at the minute um so if she doesn't have anything done then she risks getting arthritis quite badly in years to come when she's a bit no, older she well she does she it's it hires the risk of her so we've just got home um the camera battery went on me as i was talking in the car but anyway i think you got the gist of it the kids have just got their Halloween costumes so today. This only came. Only this came. Um, I, I'm not quite sure what's going on there, darling. What is going on? I'm trying to pop it on. I think you have to turn it the right way out. Sweet. And then we've got Casper's here. Casper's. This is a picture. So, hello, sweetie. You've also been catching some sausages, haven't you, Bluebell? Hey, have you been doing some sausage catching? Yeah. She's like, where is the sausage? Go on, Amy. Ready, sit. No, sit. Sit, sit. watch. 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 <laughs> they can't normally catch sausages, can they, Amy? No. As we discovered been at dog They've training. been really bad. Yeah. But anyway, she lost it. Come on, Bluebell. Yeah. Tell me what you're going to do. Because you've got to go out here. I'm bold. Tell me, I mean, Harley, did you? Mummy, she's a little bit. Mummy, yeah. 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 Needs that neck thing on Tilly. Hi, Dave. Oh, she's like, Amy, what are you Look doing? Look at you! She's like, yeah, yeah. Hi, Hello, Oh, what's that face for? Have you not got yours? Yes, she has. I'm not quite sure she, she if she has, actually. Money. I think it's cool. She goes like mermaid. Oh, dear, I don't see She goes like mermaid. Did you not want that one? Hello. Should we see if we can get you a mermaid one instead? Okay then, that's what Well folks, I think that's where we're going to end today's vlog. Um, we couldn't film too much around the hospital today because obviously it's a hospital, not everybody wants to be on a camera. Um, plus we also did have the TV cameras with us as well. Um, so it was just a bit, little bit busy today. Um, but people have been asking you know, how Tilly's getting on with the legs, so I've just sort of do a little bit of an update. Can't you tell it's school holidays? <laughs> Little people. <laughs> Little people still up. Out the Oscar. Having a bit of a late night. And also look at this little one here. Are you catching flies? She is. She's busy catching flies, isn't she, Oscar? Oh, so anyway, that is it. Don't think there's anything else to report. Nope. Over then it's Halloween in three days. Two. Three days. Got it. Two. No, three. It's Friday tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Alright. Three. Three. Three days. It's been corrected. Sorry, Tilly. Three days it is. Uh, anyway, <coughs> right. I'm going this time. See you again soon, folks. Bye for now.